Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things. Well, I'm going to jump right into the coloring for today's video because there is a lot of it. When I sat down to make this video, I really just was in the mood to make cards. So I ended up making eight cards for this. So what I ended up doing is I pulled out the Cozy Days With You stamp set as well as the Hoodie Weather stamp set. And I picked out almost almost all of the images from both of them. I think I left just a couple behind. And I put them in my Misty and I stamped them onto this piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock with some Copic Friendly Black ink. And I put on a TV show and started coloring. Both of these stamp sets have a lot of fall images in them, so I'm going to use fall colors for my coloring. I used a lot of browns and neutrals, and then I threw in some oranges and greens and reds. When I started these cards, I did not really plan. Whenever I sit down to mass produce cards and make a lot of cards, I don't really go crazy with planning a design. I just color a ton of images if I want to have images on my cards. And then afterwards, I work out a really simple design that I can do for all of them. Maybe tweak it a little bit on each card to make them a little bit different from each other. And I usually pull out my pattern paper. That's one of my biggest time savers for when I'm mass producing cards is using pattern paper. Now, of course, these cards aren't going to be the quickest mass produced cards. If you're looking to make really quick, easy mass produced, if you're making like 20 plus cards, this might not be the best option because I am coloring a bunch of images and that does take time. But like I said, I did turn on a TV show on my laptop and I just sat down and enjoyed the coloring process while watching my show. And that was just a really good way to spend my time in my opinion. And if that sounds like something that you would enjoy doing, chilling and watching a TV show while coloring, I would highly recommend making these coloring sheets up in advance so that you have them ready to go whenever you feel like coloring. You could make coloring sheets for yourself using all of your favorite stamp sets and then have them ready to go whenever you feel like coloring and then when you're done with all of them and you feel like making cards, you have a bunch of colored in images ready to go. Another thing that you could do, I just thought of this while I was talking about watching the TV shows, is you could totally listen to an audiobook while you're sitting coloring one of these sheets. I think that that would be a great idea. I'm a pretty big reader and I really enjoy listening to audiobooks. And usually when I'm listening to an audiobook, I like to be doing something else at the same time. And usually that's playing video games or cooking or cleaning. But I just realized I could totally color while I listen to an audiobook. And I think that that would be a really great way to get some coloring done and also listen to a great book. All right, that was a lot of coloring and I did have to skip a little bit of it in the video. I'm sorry, I couldn't show all of it. But once I had it all done, I did cut all of these out with the coordinating dies and then I put them in a little dish so that I wouldn't lose any of the pieces. And then I moved on to the next step. Like I said earlier, patterned paper is my best friend when I'm making a lot of cards. So I took out my patterned paper and I picked out a few different sheets that I thought would go well with the fall colors. For my actual card design, I am going with something really simple that I can recreate many times easily. This is a card design that I've actually used before several times. It's really great for making a whole lot of cards. What I like to do is I like to do a panel of white cardstock on the top of my card and then poking out from the bottom, I have the patterned paper. And to dress it up and make it a little bit more interesting, I use a die to cut the edge of the bottom of the panel of white cardstock to make it kind of fancier. Now in the past, whenever I've made this card design, I always change up how I do the edge on this white panel. I always just grab whatever die from my die stash that I think will look good. This time I ended up going with two different die sets. I grabbed the double stitched rectangles die set and the wonky stitched mini slimline die set. These are both frame die sets. 
So in order to make sure that you don't cut out the whole frame when you're die cutting this edge and you just cut that edge, when you're putting it through your die cutting machine, you want to make sure that your top plate is only over the edge that you're cutting and not the entire die. And this will make sure that you just cut along that edge. Once all of my white panels were cut, I did stamp all of my sentiments, and to make that really quick and easy, I used the same sentiment for all of my vertical cards and the same sentiment for all of my horizontal cards, and I stamped them right in the same place so that I could stamp them one after the other. Using my tape runner, I adhered my pieces of pattern paper to the bottoms of all of my card bases, and then I took my panels of white cardstock and I placed them on the upper portion of the card and I popped those up with foam tape. You could just tape these down with liquid adhesive or with a tape runner if you don't want the bulk of the foam tape, but I always love a little extra dimension. Next, I figured out which images I wanted on which cards, and I started to glue those down using liquid adhesive. I contemplated using foam tape to attach all of these little images to the cards, which if I was just making one card, I probably would have done because like I said, I love dimension. But since I'm making a lot and I already had the dimension from the white panel, I decided to keep it simple and go with the liquid adhesive. For a couple of the cards, I decided to be a little bit extra and add some enamel dots around the images. I didn't do this for all of them. I think that some of them didn't need it and others I thought it would be fun if I added it. So I just added it to a couple of them. The last thing that I did to finish up these cards is I grabbed my white gel pen and I added a few highlights and then these cards were all done. And here's a look at all eight of the finished cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed these card designs and that some of my tips and ideas come in handy. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time.